So it turns out that we accidentally killed the person who needed to be alive in order to do the quest with the space rats. So I thought that might be the case. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately we can't do that. So we'll have to move on to the next point of interest. Hooray! Uh, I did some armor and equipment upgrades behind the scenes. As you can see, Liara is now adorable in pink armor. You guys got a cute pink super suit? Yeah. I want a cute pink super suit. You seem very attached to the phrase super suit. You frozone or? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. These spacesuits do kind of like remind me of the superhero ones though. They're all like skin tight and Yeah. I really am growing fond of skin tight armor. Now I wish there were more of it in Dragon Age and other fantasy settings. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Have to be like liquid metal. Not necessarily. If it were like light leather armor or like something magical. Maybe something similar to what the Lady of the Forest wears. But, you know, like, actual clothing. <laughs> Not just, you know, tree roots. Conveniently draped hair. <laughs> oh, it's a plus? Indeed. Are we gonna have to disinfect or whatever? Yeah. Stand by, shore party. <laughs> Decontamination in progress. Oh, look at our cute friends! They Decontamination are so cute in progress. And adorable. I love everyone. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. I forgot how long this takes. <laughs> Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I feel kind of weird, to be honest. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Hmm, all right. Do it, hurry. We don't have much time. Wow, all these Asari mind melds. Two and one. Relax, there. Commander. Embrace eternity. Whoa, the black eyes are. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. I you liked are it. remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon <laughs> on Eden Point <laughs> must have been badly hey, damaged. Then. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Mm. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. So, now what? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Don't pass out after the joining. Gee, what is this? She, she has, like, 
some strange tendency to pass out after everything. I don't know. She, I guess she's, I don't know, maybe she's anemic. <laughs> yeah, yeah I sure know that feel. <laughs> I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Are you all right, Liara? Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Hey, Dr. Chalkwash yeah. is like the answer to everything around here. We're done here. Dismissed. I like how, like... I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, let's talk to the Council. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. That doesn't sound like such a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, like brain control plants. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I you never can hang jeopardized up. the mission. Yeah. That's good, Commander. Stopping Saren is your primary goal. Everything else is secondary. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Cool. As per usual, time to see if our companions have anything new to say. Hopefully, yeah. we won't make a mess of it. This guy, I can just like get up in his personal space and he salutes me. You know, we've done this like three times already and I still don't know my way around the ship. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult even now. Tension. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Okay. Just hear it, Lieutenant. I'm always open to my officers. Not that open. We've played it pretty close <laughs> in the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying. Try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Hmm. It's a personal observation, Caden. Maybe that's not my place. I don't want to send any bad signals, Commander. Just, um, working on what I've picked up. You tell me if I'm going too far. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um... I'm listening. Tell me why you feel the need to speak up. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? Hmm... You're talking about a particular example, aren't you? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track element zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Hmm, experts? The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. Yeah, I was just gonna say, why not the Asari? Why not the Asari? Because they can Asari do the mind-melding stuff, right? The Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Hmm. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the dreadnought that killed your father. Oh, that's he nice. <laughs> He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. 
Burnus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. Hmm. But why are you telling me? So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making well, mistakes. Are we special to you? Are we? What do I say? Help me out, Rebecca. Well, honestly, right, right about now, I feel like the latter two are no options and the top one's a yes. So, <laughs> your call. <laughs> See, I give you the responsibility of setting the course of our strange flirtations, and this is what you give me? Come on. But, Make but a call. I didn't choose last time. I, I know. know well, I'm handing over like the reins. Hayden. That's how it is with co pilots. Do the thing. <sighs> okay, say special. Here we go. If I'm out of line, just say the word. Hmm. Well, there is clearly a nice middle ground option <laughs> if, you, if yeah. you want that. So. Yeah. Now isn't the ideal time. But I want to talk about this, Caden. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. All right. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Leaves. Okay, we clearly we clearly have to make a decision about that before there is a later. <laughs> My goodness. That was a lot of things. That was like juggling knives. Except the romance progression in this game yeah. is not what I was expecting. Yeah. Mm. I wonder what my other viewers think of this thing that is going on. Yeah, yeah, guys, let us know what we should do about this. Yeah. Weigh in on the things. <laughs> the things. The Caden things. The Caden Do you things. like the Caden? Do you not like the Caden? Do you should like the Caden with the, the Luca? <laughs> Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Ooh. She the best. <laughs> she is the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Let's talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Yeah. Laura. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. Yeah, that's I spend cool. most Give of my that. time on remote digs. Unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Yeah, I can see pretty clearly where these paths branch out to. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> anyway, I think that's cool. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Ooh, she wants the booty. Hmm. Yeah. Fans weigh in on Liara too. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. Nice pickup what? line. No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. It's cool. I Liara. only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, she wants that's the booty. Even worse. Aww, they're so cute. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking. Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? Hi, Meryl. You must think I am a complete and utter fool. <laughs> oh no, no Laura. You know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Meryl. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Meryl. Meryl. Goodbye, Shepard. Bye, Liara. This, this game just got so much marrow. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Laura? I 
like it. <laughs> if only she had a cute Welsh accent, then it would be a no-brainer. Yeah, it's just not the same. 